Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first empties video of 2019. I decided I'm going to try and do my empties videos every single month rather than wait until my trash can is completely filled up. As you can tell, it's only about halfway full this time around just so that hopefully my videos don't end up, my empties videos don't end up being like 20 to 25 minutes long. Also, if I go through any makeup products, like if I actually use a makeup product up, I'm not going to talk about them in my empties because I will be talking about them in my makeup rehab update. However, if there are just random products, which there are th this month, that I've decided to just declutter, but I haven't actually used them up, I will share them with you in my empties videos um, outside of like a formal declutter video. That being said, if you guys are interested in seeing the products that I ended up using up in the month of January, then just keep watching. Alright guys, I don't feel like there's a ton of stuff in the month of January because I did end up doing a empties video at the end of December and I didn't end up using outside of sheet masks. I didn't end up finishing up that many products in the month of January. But first and foremost, I do have this Hemp's Yuzu and Star Fruit uh, Touch of Summer daily moisturizing a gradual self tanning cream i've gone through three bottles of this and this is really hard and this is really hard to find nowadays usually i can get mine off amazon still and i just really like this because i feel like it gives more of a natural sort of a tan to the skin rather than most of the self tanners that i've tried just end up looking not always the most natural and it, it's super streaky on me and it's probably because i'm a novice when it comes to self tanning but I do actually really enjoy this. I'll probably hold off on purchasing this till we get closer to the summertime. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'll end up buying it. I do want to try the one that everyone raves about. <sighs> Loving Tan? Loving Tan, I think it is. I want to try the Loving Tan Self Tanner. Um, but this is a really good one if you can find your hands on it. I've randomly found it at Ulta, but on very rare occasions. Okay, we can quickly go through all of my sheet masks. It is my goal in the month, or not in the month, in the year of 2019 to use at least two to three sheet masks per week outside of like my normal masking routine. So we're getting pretty serious about the masking routine in 2019. Um, I did go through one of the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim eye masks. These are the gold ones. I think I got these in a boxy charm. They were okay, nothing very like earth shattering, not ones that I would purchase on my own, but they were fine. This isn't a sheet mask, but I did go through the sampler pack of the, I don't even know how to pronounce that brand, but it's their two step, um, pore cleansing pack so they have the first step which is their steam pack which sort of it, it like gets hot when you rub it into the skin and then they have their pore tightening mask so after you do the pore steaming mask you put on the pore tightening mask and it has a cooling sensation and so it's really supposed to like steam and like open up your pores and clean them out and then go back and tighten them back in i have actually owned this pack in a full size um, rather than just a sampler pack and I liked it. It just felt like a lot of work so that's why I didn't end up purchasing um, purchasing another one, repurchasing it. I prefer the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian mask for like steaming and opening up the pores and then as far as a pore tightening mask that I like to use, I really enjoyed the Ulla Henriksen um, the blue one, I forget what it's called, but that one is a really good pore tightening mask. Probably my favorite product I used in all of January was the Tula Dual Phase Skin Reviving Treatment Pad. Now this is really interesting. It's a pad that you slip onto like your hands, your couple of your fingers, and on one side it has like an exfoliating side and then you go in and flip it over and then rub the second side over it and I'm not kidding you guys, not kidding. It took me less than a minute and I've never ever felt my skin feel smoother than when I use this. Now these are relatively expensive. I think for a 16 pack it's 60 bucks. Super expensive but I think I'm gonna go ahead and start using that over my um, Drunk Elephant, Baby, Sakari, whatever. Um, when I finish that off I think I had this was just so good. I was blown away by the results from this. <clears throat> And then I just have a bunch of sheet masks. The standout ones that I really enjoyed from this month, I really liked the Meringue Cloud Mask. This is like a bubble mask. Really, really enjoyed that one. I was let down by the 
um, I'm Real Avocado Sheet Mask by Tony Molly. I just didn't like the material of the actual mask. And then I was also super let, let down by the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist Mask. Um, yeah, not a fave at all. Would definitely not spend my own money on this. And then another favorite of mine is the Too, for, Too Cool for School Egg Cream Mask. This was the pore tightening one. Really enjoyed this one. My favorite would be their hydration mask, but both are really nice. I love the material of the actual sheet mask, and then I just love what these do for my skin. So we'll forever repurchase these. Just love them so much. Okay, a couple hair products that I have gotten through. I tried the BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Balm to Oil Pre-Shampoo Mask. I was not a fan of this. This just did not work for my thick hair. I have really thick hair and I just felt like it left my skin looking oily even after I washed it out and just made my fit my my skin, my hair. Um, and it just really made my hair look re or feel super heavy and super weighted down for a couple of washes after I used this. So was not a fan of this, would not spend my own money on that. Um, I also used the sampler pack of the OGX Shea Soft Shea Soft and Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner. I've never been a fan of OGX shampoo or conditioners. I feel like they leave my skin feeling drier than before I even went in to shampoo and condition. So I kind of felt the same way about these, would not repurchase. And then I also used the Verb Mild and Color Safe Cleansing Hydrating Shampoo, as well as their Enrich and Restore Softening Hydrating Conditioner. Really wasn't a fan of this either. I don't feel like I've liked many of the Verb products that I've tested out. Now, typically I'm only getting like a one or two time use, so I really can't say that I've tried it a bunch of times. Maybe if I tried it more, I would like it, but off of first impressions, was not a fan of this. Shoot, I had another eye mask set. This was the Cali C. Um, these are like the coffee eye masks. I think this was the last one I had from this brand. I really did like these. Um, I don't know where to find them or where to buy them, but if I could find them and they were easily accessible, I would consider purchasing these in the full size because I did, or not in the full size, or purchasing another package of these because I did really enjoy using these eye masks. If you guys have any recommendations for good eye masks like that, let me know because I do enjoy using actual eye masks. I'm not a huge eye cream person, but I do like to use eye masks on days that I'm feeling like I look super, super tired or my eyes just look really weighed down. So I finished off, <clears throat> this was actually the Pixie Vitamin Mist, um, but I had it in a Mario Badescu spray bottle because I just really hated the sprayer on the actual Pixie Mist. It's weird. All of my Pixie Mist, I've tried almost every single one. They've all had like a different mister. Um, and I really did not like the vitamin one. So I did end up finishing it off. It wasn't a project pan of mine. I did not like it. I will not repurchase it. I feel like no matter what, it just somehow always like seeped into my eyes and made my eyes sting. And I just felt like it really did nothing for my skin. So it was kind of just like an extra step that didn't need to be taken. So wouldn't repurchase that, but finished it off. Um, I finished off my Grown Alchemist Antioxidant Facial Oil. This was really, really nice. Uh, I ended up buying this through FabFitFun, so I got this for a really good deal. I think I paid like $14 for this, but it regularly retails for $65. Now, this was a really, really nice, super, super hydrating oil, but for $65, I just felt like that was really, really high, and you can get basically the same oil from Fresh for in a larger bottle for $52. So if you're looking for an oil with buckthorn, um, I would highly recommend the fresh one. It's super good, so hydrating. I'm using my bottle right now, and it's seriously been such a lifesaver for these Minnesota winters and keeping my skin like not from like dying of dryness. So enjoyed this, but will not repurchase. A couple more minis to share with you guys. So this is the Ula Henriksen mask I was talking about that I like for pore tightening. This is the cold plunge pore mask. Really enjoy this. I have this in a little deluxe size sample. Would definitely consider repurchasing this, but I'm just trying to make it through some of the other masks in my collection before I overwhelm my skincare collection with too much more, but do really enjoy this mask and one that I do recommend. I finished off this deluxe size sample of the Tata Harper Rejuvenating Serum. I did not like this. And I know Tata Harper is super expensive, so I would definitely not repurchase a full size in this. I didn't like the way that it smelled. I felt like it didn't really do anything for my skin. And I did get a good amount of uses out of this. I got at least two weeks of use out of this, and I just did not enjoy it. So could not recommend this to you guys. Was super let down by this because I was really excited to, to try a Tata Harper product. And then it was just kind of a bust. 
I finished off this little Laneige mini lip sleeping mask. This was in the apple flavor, which I actually really did enjoy. My favorite is still the original. I've also tried the little vanilla one, which I like. But I mean, I would just always typically buy the vanilla in the, or sorry, the, uh, the original in the full size because this does wonders for your skin. I just always like to have the full, I just always like to have the full size on hand so that I know my lips are going to be okay. I also finished off this Caudalie Vinyl Pure Serum. Again, wasn't impressed by this. I feel like I've never been impressed by Caudalie products and, or Caudalie, and I know they're super expensive, so... For me personally, haven't ever been impressed by the brand. You guys will have to let me know if there's any products you would recommend by them. I have tried their Grape Water Mist, uh, which I did like, but 22 bucks for a mist. You do get a lot of product. That's a good product. I'd probably buy that again. I liked that. But other than that, I have never been impressed by any Caudalie products. I know there's a lot of people who really, really like them. I do want to try their Elixir Mist because I've heard really good things about that as well, but... Now I'm just going off on a tangent. Wouldn't recommend their Vino Pure Serum. I also finished off this Malin and Gotez, Gotez, I don't know, face cleanser. Did not like this, did not like the scent of this, didn't feel like it was a great cleanser, would not repurchase in a full size. I use this itty bitty little Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towel. I do really like the makeup remover cleansing towels by Neutrogena. I think they're good. I have two full size um, packs right now that I use for sometimes on my face but typically for makeup swatches which is usually what I use makeup removing wipes for anyway so I liked this but it's just I think you can buy these little minis in like a big bag so if you ever want like just a couple to carry with you on the go which is actually not a horrible idea so actually kind of a cute idea that they do this I also finished off a mini of the belief moisturizing eye balm I do actually really enjoy this eye cream I know I said I'm not a big eye cream person but this is the one eye cream that I have tried that I feel like does make a difference I do have this in a full size it is currently by my nightstand so that I make sure I remember to use it every single night really really enjoy this and would definitely recommend this by belief. Then I finished off by Tula, their probiotic skincare illuminating face serum. I just felt like this did not really do much of anything for me and I just felt like this was an extra step. Like I wasn't excited to use this. I didn't feel like it really like again didn't feel like it really did anything for my skin. So I finished this off but I would not repurchase this just based on the fact that I didn't notice much of a difference in anything in my skin. It didn't feel like it looked brighter. It didn't feel like it looked less dull. Again, it just felt like an extra step to me. I have a couple of declutter items. So I actually have two of the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencils. These have just been in my collection for like at least a year and a half, if not two years. And unfortunately, they've both gone bad. I had made the mistake of buying a backup because I really like this. And then all of a sudden, I decided I just wasn't that into eyebrow pencils. And I just preferred the easy way of filling in my brows with a powder and unfortunately these went bad on me so I'm going to have to declutter those and then I'm also going to be decluttering this Clary C Sea Salt Solutions Face Rapid Detox Charcoal Exfoliant. I used this one time and I just feel like it's too harsh of an exfoliant um, for my skin and you also have to like dump it into your hands like it's just too there's too much effort involved in using this and this isn't something that like I'm excited to reach for so it kind of just sits there collecting dust in my collection so I'm just going to get rid of this and then finally I have the Murad Time Release Acne Cleanser I've had this in my collection for quite some time I think this has gone bad at this point and I just again this was just another cleanser that just like it just didn't do anything special for me. I didn't get excited to use it. Whereas I know this sounds silly, but I actually get excited in the morning and at night to like take my makeup off and rinse my face in the morning because I love the cleansers that I use. So decluttering this, whether or not it's gone bad, I just don't like this one. I also finished off one of these little, I think spun, spun gel, spun, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I actually really enjoy these. It's basically like it comes with soap or something in it and then it exfoliates as you like it's like a body buffer in a way and it smells really good. I can't remember the scent that I had, but I really enjoyed using this. I would definitely recommend these, especially for like gifts or things like that too. I think they're a really great idea. I already have another one going in my shower and I feel like this is something that I'll continue to repurchase because I do enjoy it that much. Just a few more products. I finished off this Grown Alchemist Age Repair Moisture Photopeptide and White Tea or Phytopeptide and White Tea Extract. This was a moisturizer um and it was like in like i folded this up to try and get the most out of it that i can again i got this through fabfitfun and i think it's really expensive to purchase the full size so therefore i don't think it's worth it to, 
to purchase in the full size. I prefer my Belief Moisturizing Balm or my Dr. Jart, I think it is, Ceramide, Ceramide Cream. Um, both of those are super, super hydrating as well if you're looking for a very hydrating moisturizer. This was very moisturizing. Again, I just think for the price tag, nah. I finished, I finished off this little mini sampler of the Ulla Henriksen Truth Serum. I have a full size of the Truth Serum on my messy desk behind me. I love the Truth Serum. I don't think you can go wrong. So if you have not tried the, Ula, the Truth Serum by Ulla Henriksen, you just got to try it. It's a great vitamin C serum. It smells really good and it just, it truly does make a difference and work wonders on your skin. I finally finished off this rose petal facial mask by Feel Harmony or Harmony. I'm not really sure. I don't even know where I got this, but this took forever to get through and I didn't enjoy using it, but for some reason I felt pulled or obligated to finish this so I was so excited to see this finally go this was one that I just didn't notice a difference in my skin I wasn't excited to use it and it just kind of sat in my collection so I was really excited to finally finish this off and then the last product is this Wella Professionals Oil Reflections Hair Oil. I actually really enjoyed this. I felt like this made a huge difference in my in my hair. This is a smoothing oil. I do feel like it, it made my hair feel a lot more smooth, a lot more soft. And I just, like, I am a night shower, so I'll go in, shower at night, put some of this oil in my hair. I didn't feel like it weighed my hair down. I didn't feel like even with my thick hair, it did not make my hair look greasy. And... I usually get nervous to go like too heavy handed with hair oils because I have found that my hair just tends to look oily really quickly when I use a hair oil but I didn't notice any of those problems with this. So if you have thick hair and you're looking for a good hair oil I would definitely recommend this guy. And then after that we have reached the end of my trash can. I hope that you guys are going to like the monthly empties just again so it hopefully shortens the video a little bit. I still feel like I've been sitting here talking forever so I feel like this video is still going to be pretty long. So. Good thing we're uh, we're doing monthly empties. Like I said, I do have some makeup empties that I finished off, but I will be sharing those with you guys in my makeup rehab update, so I don't have like any spoilers in my empties. But I'm going to be talking to you guys about the value of the products that I went through, the products that I went through, and then um, uh, in my makeup rehab update, I'll also talk about any products that I purchased that month. So if you guys are interested in checking out those videos, I will probably, hopefully, remember to leave those linked down below. But if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do that, do that before you go so you don't miss out on any of those updates or any future content. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!